All right, so let's go from the weird but true news to the unfortunately true news. And that is our main topic of the week. Um, man, I hate I, I hate and love at the same time how much Taylor Swift is a part of our show. Um, yeah. I love it because I love, I love Taylor. I yeah, I, I love it because I love Taylor. I hate it because she is so polarizing and she's always in the news for good things, bad things, and everything in between. This is obviously a bad thing this week. Um, unfortunately, it could have been much, much worse. I'm glad it wasn't. I'm glad that she is safe. And everything um, is handled. And Right. But, man, I'll tell you what. This is some scary shit right here. Um, because I think Katie and I both agree that Taylor Swift is an absolutely a, a global treasure and an icon. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw, completely off topic, but I don't know if you saw that people were um, actually attacking dolly parton recently but anyway we'll talk about that after the show because that might be something we want to talk about in the future um because i always attribute dolly parton willie nelson taylor swift in the same boat they are global treasures and should be protected at all costs but as you guys may know because obviously we're not the biggest news source in the world and hopefully we never are because you know we talk about because we're yeah we talk about orange and blue lobsters and <laughs> fucking and red lobsters fancy. spending lots of money on ghost detectors. and. <sighs> but anyway, so Taylor Swift recently had a couple of concerts in Vienna, Austria that were canceled due to a terroristic plot that was put together by a couple of insane individuals, um, allegedly insane individuals. Let me add that. Um, that were uh, apparently trying, that were going to either blow up her concert or enact some other kind of hurt and destruction um, on her show. Uh, now, why were Taylor Swift's Vienna shows canceled? This is from People.com. What we know about the alleged terror plot so far. This was actually published <clears throat> on the 9th of August, and this was uh, several days after the announcement that the shows were going to be canceled. <clears throat> Now, Taylor Swift's highly anticipated Eras Tour concerts in Vienna, Austria were abruptly canceled due to an alleged planned terrorist attack. Taylor Swift's Era Tour, Eras Tour stops in Vienna, Austria came to a halt um, in August 2024 after authorities derailed an alleged planned terrorist attack targeting the concerts. Swift was set to perform three shows in Vienna from August 8th to the 10th. However, on the evening of August 7th, the concert promoter, Barracuda Music, announced the cancellation, writing that they had, quote, no choice but to cancel, unquote, the three performances in order to prioritize the safety of all attendees. The planned attack was confirmed by Austri Austrian authorities, who emphasized the severity of the potential threat. This is some scary shit, y'all. Um, yep. the, the suspects had very specific and detailed plans to cause a tragedy on the scale of Paris, Manchester, or Moscow. Karl Niehammer, the Chancellor of Austria, said at a news conference on August 8th. The suspects... The suspects. The suspects... The intend, <laughs> intended to use explosives and knives to cause mass, mass casualties... Authorities said at the conference, leading to the cancellation of Swift's scheduled shows. Uh, the situation was serious. The situation is serious. But we can also say a tragedy was prevented. Interior Minister Gerhard Karner told reporters. In the days since, Austrian officials have arrested three suspects in connection with the planned attack. Um, here's everything we know so far about the alleged plotted attack on Taylor Swift's concerts in Vienna and what it means for the rest of the era's tour. Um, now, on August 7th, Austrian authorities confirmed the arrest of two men planning an attack on the concerts at Ernst Happel Stadium, scheduled from August 8th to the 10th, which were expected to bring in nearly 200,000 attendees over the course of the three shows. That does not include the more than 45,000 people they expected outside the stadium as well. 
Because I don't know if you've heard this, Katie, but that's the thing that's happening now. It's so hard to get tickets to these tours that there are tens of thousands of people that are literally just sitting on blankets outside the stadium. Yeah. Just to listen to the songs. Yeah. Um, and that's a that's different story. Nice. There was a story recently, just uh, as a, a, a side quest off of this main one, um, where I think it was, I don't remember where it was. Maybe it was Paris, but um, the concert um, organizers, a.k.a. Taylor, made sure that there were lots of blankets and water and hydration stations and things That's like that cool. for the people outside the stadium who were dealing who could be dealing with heat exhaustion and things like that. Just incredible stuff. That's a great story too. And I didn't put That's that into the, into the podcast when it happened because I thought we were talking about Taylor's good stuff too much, but this one I could not avoid. Um, yeah. But anyway, the suspects intended to use explosives and knives to cause mass casualties, forcing the cancellation of the shows for safety reasons, according to officials. Both suspects had become radicalized on the Internet and had taken concrete preparatory actions for a terrorist attack, Austrian authorities wrote in German in a statement on August 7th. The main suspect had sworn an oath of allegiance to IS, which is ISIS, essentially, on the internet, and chemical substances were seized in his apartment during a house search. Um, authorities decided to cancel the concerts after uncovering detailed plans for the attack. The official Taylor Nation account shared Barracuda Music's post on Instagram stories, which stated, quote, with confirmation from government officials of a planned terrorist attack at Ernst Happel Stadium, we have no choice but to cancel the three scheduled shows for everyone's safety. The post also noted that all ticket purchases were to be automatically refunded, and a similar note about refunds was added on the Eras Tour um, website. Um, then it goes on to say who the suspects were. I'm not going to talk about. Well, uh, let me see. It doesn't give their identity, so I suppose we could do that. Um, according to authorities, the primary suspect, who is a 19 year old Austrian, admitted to planning the attack, intended to kill himself and many others at the concert, according to NBC. Um, authorities found large quantities of chemicals, detonators, explosives, and 21,000 euros of counterfeit money at his apartment. His aim was to kill himself and a large number of people during the concert, either today or tomorrow. Um, Omar Hajawi Perchner, head of Austria's dictorate, Directorate, Dictorate, God damn it, Dictorate, <laughs> Directorate of State Security and Intelligence told reporters at a press conference. Uh, the 19-year-old wanted to, qu quote, kill as many people as possible, unquote, authorities added. A second suspect, who was a 17-year-old who worked at a facility management company providing services to the stadium, and a 15-year-old boy who refused to speak with authorities were also detained on August 7th. And that's the part that scares me because there was one of these kids had direct access to the stadium. Yeah. That's that's frightening, man. Now, the 15-year-old was ultimately released, um, the New York Times reported on August 9th, and has been being treated as a witness rather than a suspect. Authorities determined he was not involved in the plot but knew of many details and corroborated crucial information of the main suspect's confession. That reads to me like perhaps he I, told. He sold them out. Yeah, that's what it reads to me. Um, now, there was a third suspect who is believed to be connected to the main suspect and was also arrested on August 9th. Um, while authorities believe he was not part of the planned attack, he was closely connected to the plotters and had sworn an oath to the Islamic State. Um, now, Swift has not publicly commented on the canceled Vienna shows. However, in an interview with Elle in 2019, um, the Grammy winner did express her fear of violence and terroristic attacks at concerts, um, referencing two incidents in 2017, which we're all familiar with, I'm sure. Uh, the first being the Manchester Manchester Arena bombing at an Ariana Grande. You sound Grande. like you're from Manchester. I know. Um, at an Ariana, Gra Ariana Grande concert and, of course, the Las Vegas concert shooting as well. Um, mm -hmm. She said then I was completely terrified to go on tour this time because I didn't know how we were going to keep three million fans safe over seven months. 
Um, Swift emphasized the extensive planning and security measures taken to keep her fans safe during tours in light of those attacks. Um, there was a tremendous amount of planning, expense, and effort put into keeping my fans safe, she added then. Um, so, uh, again, the cancellation of the Vienna tours has led to increased security measures for the rest of the tour, um, which is, is currently planned to end in December. Um, and authorities have ramped up surveillance and added more security personnel at her concerts. Um, this at this point, they should have the damn Secret Service out there. I her. mean, I promise you her security team is probably more than the Secret Service. No, I know, but, yeah. like, God. Yeah. I don't think, um, based on, you know, again, some of her interviews in the past, she is very, very proactive in this. So mm -hmm. it, it sounds like, it's, honestly, um, I, I can almost guarantee her team probably found something or whatever and put an end to this. So it's nice to see that. Either the local authorities or her team were able to thwart. There's a Scooby-Doo word for you. Thwart, thwart. this terroristic thwart. attack. It's scary, thwart. though. Um, it also reminds me, I know this wasn't added into this story, but it, it reminds me of the Christi uh, Christina Grimmie. Um, I know. Man, that was horrible. Yeah. I still think about her a lot, man. A lot, a lot. Man. I always think about Dimebag. Same. Yeah, it's the same situation, right? Like, yeah, Dimebag, Christina Grimmie. Um, uh, Marvin Gaye wasn't quite the same. I guess it was his dad that, that shot him. It wasn't during the show, but it's just, yeah. man, it's it's scary stuff, man. Absolutely. Also, I don't know if you know this. I found another article. I'm going to butcher, butcher the name. Um, but anyway, uh, she got fans uh, free necro necrosis, necklaces from Vienna Sw Sw Swarovski. Easy for you to say, Katie Lynn. After shows were canceled. So everyone, um, after they canceled the Vienna Airs tour um, due to the all that crap, um, they still, uh, many fans in the <laughs> Australian cities still decided to gather to support each other and explore. Um, uh, as some fans showed on TikTok and X, formerly Twitter, uh, the unique gift which fans were able to claim after showing their ticket to one of the to one of the canceled shows was a necklace from the brand with a variety of different crystal charms tucked into the bag. Yeah. So they all got refunded <clears throat> and they got really a little, nice a little gift, a, a really nice little gift. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the fact that 200,000 tickets refunded. That's nuts, Holy though, bro. Shit. That's a lot Holy of people. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we get some comments on Twitch. Uh, my friend Toby T, let's uh, just look at the soccer event in Miami. That's right. Yep, yep. Um, I can confirm a lot of these concerts and sporting events will hire anybody for security detail with little pay. Um, there's like a two-week period. It's basically first come, first serve. Her security guy hires the people. I will get into that. Uh, but it's still based in the country of origin of the concert. It is and it isn't. So Taylor Swift is very proactive. I've done a lot of research on this in the past because I'm a, I'm a, a fairly um, decent-sized Swifty. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I've, uh, I've, 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 man, I've, I've watched so many Taylor Swift um, interviews over the years. Um Probably an unhealthy amount, but, um, but yeah, she she is very good at, at, at not just being proactive within her hiring um, processes, but um, she uh, she literally gives her stamp on every hire that is made under her. So you're right, Toby T, in that she does have a security guy. Probably a very well, very highly militarized security guy would be my guess. Somebody who's either been in special forces or secret service or somebody with a huge resume in that scope yeah. um, that she trusts implicitly, I imagine. Um, but he has to literally okay every single hire that he makes with her and um, has to you know, give the pros of, of why he feels like that individual should be hired. Now, you're right also that there obviously is going to be local... Um, forces brought in as well. 
Um, but those people are not allowed within the inner sphere of Taylor Swift, right? right? So they're not allowed backstage. They're not allowed on stage. They're not allowed next to the stage. Um, mostly the crew. Right, exactly. So it, it sounds like it was um, ferreted out in this case, and thank God for that. I don't know how, um, based on it being three people under the age of 20, I doubt she was in any major harm. Um, I doubt there's going to be a, a chance for them to get a large explosive into a place like that. But um, it could have been very much like the Bo Boston Marathon thing where, you know, it, they could have put something off or exploded something and started stabbing people and things like that. And obviously it would be a very bad look. A lot of people would have been hurt, possibly maimed, yeah. killed, etc. And obviously... Nobody wants that to happen at their show, no. right? So absolutely, yeah. Thank God they found out exactly, Toby. Anyway, I'm glad that Taylor is safe. Um, I know she's very vigilant in this, and she understands. She's a very smart girl, smart woman, um, and I'm glad she's safe. Go ahead. Katie. I have more to comment. That's nice stuff. Yeah, please. <laughs> anyway. Um... The um, they basically ran out of necklaces, but still wanted fans to come in for a special discount. Um, other locations in the city were offering free food or discounted food, free museum entry, and special or specially themed attractions for fans. On August eighth, fans gathered in the streets for an impromptu dance party and concert of their own, where they traded friendship bracelets, sang Swift songs, and kept each other company in what's been otherwise a scary time. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. Uh, it's called Going Above and Beyond, which Taylor does a lot, man. She does a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, and I can promise you um, this is not going to be the end of this either for her. Like, she's yeah. going to – this is going to be eating at her. Um, she will somehow put those shows on somewhere, somehow. Um, yeah. Because I, I, just based on what I've seen from I'm her in the past. I'm scared shitless. I'm sure, Yeah. But she, I, I promise she probably feels awful that these people were refunded and didn't get to see oh, yeah. the show and all of that. So um, knowing what I know of her, um, it would not surprise me if these shows were rescheduled. Um, perhaps um, with with free admission. Who knows? Who knows? Just a thought. Mm -hmm. If it's hot, she has water stations to get bottled water. So, yeah, that's a story that I wanted to talk about on the show a couple weeks ago. Um, like I said, I think it happened in Paris, um, where she was, uh, they spent five figures, um, on blankets and, and hydration stations outside the concert. This was for non-paying attendees, mm -hmm. by the way. That's very important that you guys understand that Taylor and her concert organizers were making sure that non-paying concert attendees were taken care of. Um, both in a health wise and just keeping them cool during very, very high temperatures. Mm -hmm. Most artists are going to go out there and try to shoo them off. Um, and, and I only know this because I've freaking seen it myself. Okay. Yes, I have been shooed off. Okay. I've been shooed off. <laughs> but yeah, just cool stuff. I'm glad she's safe. But that I is agree. our main topic this week. Um,